Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry that I have not had tutorials up or just videos up consistently. It's been really really busy. The Etsy shop has been busy. I have been busy. Life is busy. <laughs> so unfortunately when that happens YouTube tends to take the back burner because that's just the way it has to be. <laughs> um, so anyway I am going to do a quick tutorial today because I have been having some issues with the ferrets not using the litter box consistently since we've moved them to the other room which I kind of had a feeling was going to happen because that room is carpeted and the room that they were in prior to which was this room is not carpeted and so we just had a lot more luck with them being really really good about using the litter box in here versus with the carpet and I just had this instinct that that was going to happen. Ultimately the carpet will be taken up in that room and there will be like an area rug or some, you know, something in the center that will be easy on their feet and they won't have, the whole entire room won't be carpeted. So I am going to make some reusable pee pads, ones that can be wiped clean and washed and that are waterproof. Um, I did get some from Amazon, which I really, really like and I would absolutely buy more, but I sew, so why would I do that? Um, and there's some quick hacks that you can use that are maybe a little less expensive than going out and buying them or buying the ones that are disposable that you have to throw away all the time. Now the thing about washing them is that obviously you're gonna have to shake off any pieces that are stuck on there, wash them, put them back out, and it'll be a little less expensive than buying reusable ones and it may even be a little less expensive than just buying reusable washable pee pads offline or from the store. So without further ado, we're gonna jump into the video. Okay, you guys, so for this project, I am going to be using some pee or like incontinence pads, pads that you use either with adults or children. You can get these at like Walmart. Um, you can actually get them on Amazon, a lot of places, but they're perfect for pee pads. First of all, they're waterproof. They're relatively safe. They're kind of hospitally looking, but at the end, I'm going to wrap mine in flannel cotton. You could also put fleece around it. It's up to you. I want mine to be kind of thin because I'm going to put it in a doorway. So if I make it really bulky with fleece, it's going to be hard to open the door. Um, and I don't want it to be real heavy. But because of how this is made and because it's made to absorb urine, it will be perfect for what we're using it for. So I'm just going to keep it very basic. I'm going to do a solid color, but you could make it fun. You could do fleece. You could do patterned flannels, anything you want. This is a super easy project. It's actually great for all animals that are you're trying to litter train or just ferrets or whoever it is that just has an issue um, maybe using the litter box or is litter training and it kind of may just give it a better look than the average pee pad the other great thing about this is it is washable and reusable so all you got to do is shake it out anything that is clumpy lumpy or shouldn't go into your machine wash that take the shake that off and throw this in your washing machine um, basically, I wash all of my ferrets beddings, actually all of my animals bedding, with detergent that has no dye and no fragrance. And I also once in a while will throw some vinegar in there with it because it helps to disinfect and also helps to neutralize the odor. Um, I do dry these on a low heat. You could hang them to dry and that will just save you some money in having to go out and buy pee pads that you throw away. For me as a ferret owner, as many of you who are ferret owners probably know, accidents are going to happen. They're probably going to happen the entirety of your ferret's life. And so this just seems like an easier alternative. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put this aside. I have this piece of, um, flannel. It's kind of big. You probably, I would get maybe a yard and a half. It depends on the side of your, the size of your pee pad. So I'm going to fold this in half. To lay this down in the center here just like this bring it a little closer to an edge so I can save some fabric all right I'm gonna now there's two layers so this is this has two layers like this so that I folded it in half I'm gonna cut out around this pee pad I'm going to pin or clip it not pin it I'm gonna clip it and we will go from there you're going to do now is you're going to go over to your sewing machine and you're going to stitch 
all the way around, which you're gonna leave, I would leave about a six inch opening. You wanna be able to pull this through. So, so I would start here, go all the way around, stop here. So I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna stitch around this border right here. Now you've stitched this together, I would trim off um, your excess fabric so you don't have <clears throat> like clumpiness. I would not trim off the excess fabric by your opening. I would leave that excess fabric there. It makes it easier to close your opening. Alright, so the only... Um, excess fabric I have left is at the opening. Now I'm going to take this. We're going to pull mine. We're going to pull this right side out. Okay, so now you have your opening. What you're going to want to do is um, this will kind of naturally roll in on itself. You want to fold this in and just match these up. You want it to kind of look like the rest of your seams. So however you have to do that, this is just an extra thread. So a lot of times what I do when I'm doing this is I don't, I do that last so that I can get the rest of everything in place. What I'm doing is I'm making my seams nice and pretty. You know I'm a nut about that if you've watched any of my videos. I do not like a messy seam. It drives me crazy. I'm going to basically um, clip all the way around to get my seams nice and pretty, and then I'm going to top stitch. All right, and that's it. And so I'm going to go, I will put this down in their room, and then once it's dirty, I will shake it out, stick it in the washing machine, and wash it. And that's, that's it. It is waterproof. Um, obviously, the pee will go through here, but it will not go through onto the floor, which is what we want. So this is where I put the pee pad. I was going to put it by the door, but I had just changed the ones that are by the door, so I didn't want to take it all up to put another one down. <clears throat> so I put it here for now, but ultimately it will go over by this door. You can see my pee problem. Um, those are the ones that I bought off of Amazon, but yeah, you sit here and it's perfect. Okay, you guys, so that is it. That is the short, simple probably not even a five minute video by the time I edit. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back soon with some better tutorials, with some better content, hopefully that is more just fun. It has, um, it's just been so busy and I'm so incredibly like happy and blessed and I, I just love it. I love that I get to do what I love to do every day as my job. I miss making videos, but I have to provide the goods for the people who pay me for my services and I get paid to make you guys cage liners and accessories and all of the things that your babies want and so sometimes I can't get to my videos but just know that I'm here and I am on Instagram so I am much more active on Instagram than I probably am on YouTube in the last couple of months. I thought that quitting my job to do this full time I would have more time but that is not exactly what happened so I'm actually busier than I could have ever dreamed so thank you guys for all of your support um if there's any video ideas that you want throw that information into the description or into the comment section i'm sorry um, i hope you guys have a great week and i will see you soon